One day I was playing with the kids at recess and we were using chalk to draw um, a hopscotch. And I said, why do we draw this every time? We need to have a permanent hopscotch. <laughs> I think it's perfect weather for us to get out here and make the playground over. And um, we have kids from Boyd, NHS, we have some of our Stuco students out here, and lots of parents um, from our Stuco and teacher volunteers. What inspired you to come out today? I was instructed to, basically. <laughs> no, he was not. He volunteered. He was yeah. super excited. I don't know, just helping the school. We're always trying to just, you know, do what you can for the kids. Help and support is so, so easy. I have an awesome, awesome administration team that's really helped out. The PTA volunteers, we kind of have our core group that does everything it seems like, but it was so simple. I just came with the idea and they said, what can we do to help? I will paint. I already have some paint on my hand, so it's gonna be a fun day. Okay, so paint should not go here. No, we'll need paint here. The whole point of having the permanent games painted on the playground is so that way they can practice those social skills, the rules and the games and everything that they learned during PE and just practice playing together. We all know that exercise is crucial for our kids. We know that they need that movement and this is a great opportunity even on those rainy days when we think, oh my gosh, it's too muddy outside, we can bring the kids on the blacktop and they can get out some of those wiggles and get some of that movement. I think it's going to look really cool. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, fun stuff for them to do besides, not that they don't like the gaga pit and playing soccer, but this will be something else for them to do. We have a follow the maze path. It's just a maze from one shape to follow the color to the footprint. We also have ultimate hopscotch. It's not just one hopscotch, it's three hopscotch that come together and form a T and so they can do relays and they can do races and just whatever their little creative minds want to do. And then we have two four square games. And then we have a mirror me game which is kind of like Simon says, one person stands in the front and does a leader like green, orange and they follow. And then we have bullseye which is with bean bags and we'll do a bean bag toss to earn points and then we are creating two basketball keys and a activity circuit that has balancing, um, duck walk, um, crawling on your hands and feet like a bear crawl. I've been at Minshew for over a decade and so <laughs> it's really neat to see this come to fruition and just kind of that extra piece to make the kids have fun at recess.